Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Play's XCOM Enemy Unknown for absolute beginners. We're at... Well, it wasn't very clear, I think they shut down... It's um... <laughs> a council mission, so probably looking at Thin Men. Um, it's listed as asset recovery, so I'm wondering if there may be survivors. I think the aliens shot down a plane or something. We'll see, but in general, it's the usual story. Let's get to cover. Trying to work out what we're dealing with. Uh, right, so we've got a limited scope here. So mostly heading off in that direction. Which is fine. Might be able to spread out to cover the whole area. Maybe. I'm guessing it's the guy with the blast out launcher. Sure, we'll get to use it, of course. Going in for the Very kill. Very good cover. My new number is this. So, got some kind of motorway here. to get the sniper up there. Okay, well at least we're covering the whole area now. The enemy is spotted. Yep, those are definitely an opt in then. set the truck on fire so we'll have to move Alright, so this is how the guided system works. We've 
our new rocket we can actually fire around corners. We've still got a strictly limited range here. But seeing as we have two of these, maybe we should make use of them. quite effective. <laughs> it's not uh, original XCOM levels of effective, but it wasn't bad. I'm all right. these guys there are. Got him. No way that just happened. Oh brilliant. Voices. Even though in fear we should try to use mind control as well. for using another rocket if uh, it means not losing people. Or alternatively, I could just stick a massive rocket down there. That works. Okay, so, alright, you're injured yourself, so why don't you heal yourself? Good 
to go. Turn him down. Technically a waste of running gun there. <laughs> Wasn't entirely thinking. Less happy about you grooving together. <laughs> Do quite like the blast out launcher. Permanent enemy marker. Easy now, soldier. Seriously, lacking in decent cover. Floating all over the place. Touching down. Great. ET in sight. Engaging. Probably should have waited till the sniper was active to do that. And it will be the last person I moved, of course. So again, this is going to set the truck off to blow. Forcing the enemy to move. Oh, of course we're guided for Shredder Rockets as well. I do like that. We're out of range. I think they're in range. For try. Obviously, won't be taking home quite as much equipment from this, but. At least we'll hopefully be taking home. All the last soldiers. Not fancy if he chance to try in the mind control, what about these rockets? Might still get a promotion at least. Oh, may as well 
we'll take him down, I guess. Safer. X-ray down. Another day, another successful operation. Twelve mutons in the end. No fin then. Interesting. See if the next council mission is also mutant. Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when everyone makes it home safely. Or if this was just, you know, a coincidence. A particular type of mission. No alleged injuries, at least. I've got some money and panic reduction. We will be in touch, Commander. So we're back to nowhere. Being about to secede. destroy the craft. We're in pursuit. Oh no, we're fine. Okay, so here's the question. Do we want to keep with the same team? Sniper... Awful lot of kernels here. Right, so it's Major Diaz who has the psionic gift. So if I clear you, and we try to bring in someone. thinking about trying to keep the squad from being too fragile. And this is just a small scout. It's been shut down. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Feels like it should be a pretty easy mission. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay, so we have a lot of movement in this direction. But over here we're in a bit of a corner. Not perfectly a corner. Moving to firing position. We could Especially having come this far, we could tentatively assume that there are no enemies over there. Oh. Moving 
at the speed of death. Of course. Anything that looks vaguely UFO like, nothing obvious, at least. Actually getting up on this uh, plateau is going to be nigh impossible, so I'm going to take a risk and assume it's clear. Close to covering this, oh yeah, we've reached the corner more or less. A little worried about how spread out we are. Broadly in the direction of the noises. until the sniper's ready. I don't think we're alone out here. No, I'm wondering if that sound is an ethereal. I think we 
found it. There's definitely a noise in this direction as well. Though. Can't get used to finishing off a side of this can be shot. Okay, brilliant. So as long as we've got the fuel, we have a vantage point there. Moving at the speed of death. Cyberdix may have been the thing that was making the noise, so we might want to focus on the ship now. Especially seeing as in it was a crash, so hopefully we're not dealing with a complete complement of crew. Enemies in sight. They work. So the question is, do we want to uh, risk destroying things we need by firing a rocket in there? Probably not, to be fair. Tempting though it is. You 
just have to worry about what the ethereal might do. And we're never likely to be in a much stronger position. And we need ethereal corpses at least to make mind shields. Ability. I was fully technically just pale compared to mind control. Bye bye. I could swear that shot missed by a man. Oh well. Okay, mind control it is. A sniper on Overwatch. Okay. Controlling our mind controlled compatriot. Shot failed to connect. Panic actually. What I could do, which I should have thought about Entry earlier, move, is disabling shot. Should do relatively little damage. Stop him from being able to They're attack us. Around the side. I can't use double tap for that. Okay. Um, well, I'm certainly not attacking. So let's just go to the next person. See. They're 
They're trying to flank us! Okay, calm down. Just need to... Get nice and close. be our best chance to capture one of these things ever. It's injured. We have a skilled assault soldier nearby. Moving at the speed of death. Kinda of counting on not being close enough to hit. Own person. Cover my flank. All oh, right, yeah. And turn. Uh, he's just gonna run away, isn't he? So I don't know if he'll be able to do grenades or if he'll be literally disarmed. Back online. Shifting their attack. Okay. Uh, well, there's nothing showing or suggesting that we're in range for. At least we didn't lose anyone. Uh, I meant there was, uh, there's usually something to show if you could use the arc thrower to try and stun it. Didn't look like we could. Or that we were able to get close enough to. power source we can sell. In theory, we can now make our first mine shield. power ever again. So these two have got pluses now, so they should all be supporting each other. So what else do we need? Put another satellite nexus there, so assuming we're not going to need any more power, we do have quite a lot. We might put the gallop chamber there. results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Do you still feel that we Remember, should consider satellite coverage in more watching. areas? Oh, 
finally, right. Okay, two gifted people at once. Brilliant. Let us. The new Let's engineers see. arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay, well we can make more Titan armor to start with. I want to get these guys operational as soon as possible. Not sure what their specialty is. So let's just grab a few extra things. So I'm not having to mess around too much. I think we're low on Illyrium, aren't we? Right, great. Now I just need a nice easy mission to start them off with. Okay, so we are covered. Five light plasma rifles, and we have two, and they're offering a lot of money. However, we will need a lyrium to do that. So it's whether the money is worth it. It probably is, but we can't help just yet. Okay, so. If we were to start sending satellites out to anywhere that wasn't Europe or the United States, where would we send them? Well, Africa is a candidate and so is Asia. Actually thinking Asia might be more necessary. really know until something happens and one of them panics. Is there anywhere with nothing at all? Oh there is. Okay, so let's move standard ship South America so then we've at least got something everywhere. I kind of want to start shooting things down in Asia, so I might consider. Because this does seem to reduce panic as well. Locked. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, the hyperwave relay. We should take a note of this. It gives us some idea of what we're facing. Ethereal Muton Elite Heavy Floater. 13 targets. Is that before or after we shoot them? Okay, so this squaddy, sorry to say, I'm going to knock you back down because I want to replace you with one of the gifted people. So we've got support and a heavy. But we do already have extra support, extra heavies. 
Let's go with support for this one. Support people are resistant to attack now. Not resistant. Our um, psionically gifted. Sorry, I was thinking about the mind shield. Kind of feel like maybe we should give it to the guy with the blast star launcher. So it doesn't mean he won't have an alien grenade anymore. make him more resistant. Well, it should make him more resistant, and we don't really want someone with a blast star launch to be mind controlled. Just in case. Okay, sniper, two supports, both sonically gifted, assault heavy heavy. I left one of the sonically gifted people at home because we have two new people, Take two squaddies to a supply barge. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Although, if you really are only 13 enemies, it might not be too bad. Maybe it's because we shot them down. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. This is a bit more the end that I'm used to being out of supply barge as well. <laughs> Starting at the loading bay. Okay, right. Well, definitely going to stop there, but I am really glad we've got two more gifted people, because that takes up to four if we can avoid losing any. We should be a formidable fighting force, and also might make the mine shields unnecessary. We'll see. But yeah, I'd be much happier doing the final mission with four gifted people than with just two. I'm also thinking, I have a horrible feeling I forgot to add any more people into the psionic testing, so we really need to do that after this mission. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, looking good though, I like the Blast Star Launcher. Didn't get a chance to try Mind Control yet, but we will maybe get a chance on this mission. So yeah, we will see. Thank you for watching, I will see you next time.